Hi, I'm Brian, and I want to give you a quick tip today. And if you're using pastels in any form, whether it be pastel pencils, whether it be chalk pastels and the chalk blocks, or even the soft pastels, you know how important it is to have a color shaper. Now, sometimes we could use, you know, just the end of our fingers if we want to, to just kind of blend the pastel in. And it's really not a good idea to use your fingers because a lot of times your fingers, our skin contains oils in them, no matter how much you wash them and how much you clean them. We have that oils in our skin and you're liable to get that oil on your painting. And once you do that, you're going to mess up your painting and you're going to destroy that. Now, basically most of your color shapers, they are made with silicone. They're, the tips are created out of silicone. And a lot of times they can be a very expensive tool. Most of the time you'll wind up paying $20 or so for even one color shaper tool. And sometimes you can go to Amazon and you can get a pack of five for about 20 bucks. And that's a pretty good deal for color shapers. I'm going to give you something that you probably already have in your kitchen. And this works great because what we're looking for is something that is made of silicone. And what I have here is I have a basically what you spread cake batter on with on your cakes. This is silicone here and it's already created real thin, especially toward the ends. And what you can do here is you can buy these for a little of nothing, maybe probably a dollar or, or no more than a dollar anyway. And you can take these and you can actually take and trim these. Now, I'm not going to trim this because this actually belongs to my kitchen and we actually use this. But I want to give you this quick tip to let you know that you can use these. You can buy these if you if your store, uh, if you don't have an art store or they don't sell the color shapers, you can actually buy buy a few of these. You know, one will do for a long, long time, actually. But you can take it and you can actually trim this and you can trim it to the tip to any shape you want. You can trim it to where it's just a flat square shape. You can trim it to, you know, where it's just round or you can just use the round edge of it. And you can actually take and just use a little bit of this. Uh, you can actually take and use this with your hand once you remove the stick. And you can keep the stick on if you want to. It's a little flimsy at the end. If you keep the stick on, you might want to trim it to where it gets a little more stiff and a little hard. And you can actually use this to blend the pastels in real nicely. So this is one of my tips for today. If you're using pastels, it doesn't matter if it's chalk, soft pastels, or whatever. This is really a great tool that you can use to blend in your pastels without having to worry about ruining your painting by trying to use your fingers. And it's really, it works really nice and it works just as good as a color shaper tool that you would buy at an art store, online, or anywhere else. So try it out. You'll, you'll enjoy it. It will really blend your pastels nicely. And I want to bid you happy painting.